Hey everyone, today I want to explain how to use masks, clipping masks, and alpha lock within Procreate. These features are super useful when you're trying to create in a non-destructive way to the rest of your art piece. They'll also save you a whole lot of time. I'll be using Spooky Ivasaur here from my last video as a demonstration. If you're new to Procreate and want to learn, I have a whole Procreate tutorial playlist that you can go check out after this video. I'll link it above and down in the video description. So no more chatting, let's get right into it. So let's start off with Alpha Lock. Alpha Lock will allow you to shade and draw within a certain shape without affecting the rest of your drawing, but there is a drawback with Alpha Lock and I'll show you that in a moment. What we're gonna be doing is adding color, shadows, and highlights to our pumpkin here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a new layer and I'm gonna make sure that that new layer is underneath my outline layer. That way when I'm drawing in the color shape, my outline is still gonna look sharp. First, I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna grab my base color for the pumpkin. I'm gonna go up here, pick a brush. I'm gonna go with the technical pen. And now I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to outline the entire shape of our pumpkin. All right, now that the shape of the pumpkin is fully outlined, what we're gonna do is drag and drop the color inside, and now it's gonna fill the whole pumpkin with that color. Don't worry about the eyes, nose, and mouth because we'll be able to come back later and we'll be able to fill those in with whatever color that we want. Now to turn alpha lock on, you have to go up to your layers and pick the layer that your shape of color is on. You're gonna click on that layer once and you're gonna come over here and click alpha lock. You can tell that alpha lock is on by the checkboard pattern in the layer preview. Once alpha lock is selected, we're gonna pick a darker color, let's just keep it simple with black. For the shadows, I like to use one of these soft brushes. It's a lot easier to use and shade with. And I'll come over here and I'll bring my opacity like halfway down and I'll make the brush size pretty big. Once you have that all set, you're able to start shading. And as you can see, I'm shading outside of the color, nothing's happening. And as soon as I start shading on the inside of the color, we can start to see the black come through. This is why I like to have a lower opacity because it's not just straight black. You're able to kind of build the shade up a little bit as you would like. Next, we wanna add some highlights to our pumpkin. So let's grab white and we will also select the technical pen. On the same layer, we can do the same thing as we did with the shadows. We can add our white right on top of the orange. But the thing is, say I want to taper this highlight from thin to thick and I wanna erase some of it, if I go to erase some of this, not only is it going to erase my highlight, but it can also erase the orange that is underneath it. So this is the one drawback I would say to alpha lock. Next, let's talk about clipping mask, which will let you erase without affecting the color beneath it. The first step is I'm going to disable alpha lock for the layer of color that we made for the pumpkin. Obviously I already backed up and undid all of the shading we did. And now I'm going to start a new layer. I'm gonna click on the new layer and turn on clipping mask on the layer above the block of color that we made. You can tell it's on by this little arrow right here. Now you're able to do the same shading that we did earlier on this clipping layer mask, but instead of uh, erasing some of the orange next time we mess up, we're just going to be erasing what's on the clipping mask layer. Now, if you want to separate your shadows and your highlights on two separate clipping mask layers, you can do that. So we have our original color layer right here. We have our shadow layer. We start another layer and turn clipping mask on on that one. We'll grab our white and our technical pen. And we can come in here. We can do our highlights. We can do our highlights right over top of our shadows if we want it and we are still able to erase that and it's not messing with our shadow layer or our orange. Another cool thing that we can do is now we can turn on alpha lock on one of these clipping mask layers if we want to just affect a single layer. So let's do something with just our shadow and we'll turn on alpha lock and say we want to add a darker orange. So let's just pick a little bit of a darker orange. We can go in here and now we are doing that orange on top of that shadow layer and that's the only thing that it's affecting. It's not affecting the highlight, it's not affecting any of the other drawing, it's only affecting that shadow area and we're able to blend colors and it makes it a lot easier to do that without messing up the rest of your drawing. So the difference between alpha lock and clipping mask is alpha lock, you know you won't be wanting to make any changes later. And clipping mask is a little bit more of a safe bet if you're trying something that you think you might not like later, you're able to make changes to just a targeted area, for example, just the shadow. Now lastly, let's talk about the mask feature. Say we want to make it look like another Pokemon took a giant bite out of our Ivasaur's pumpkin head so we want to make it look like there's a big bite in there without destroying our original drawing 
or color. Now you can use the eraser for doing something like this, but that's more of a permanent solution. To enable mask, you're gonna select the layer that you want to affect, you know, click on it and turn mask on. You'll see automatically a new layer pops up above the layer that you want to affect and it's titled layer mask. While you're on the layer titled layer mask, you'll be able to select either the color white or the color black. White to add, black to take away. So now I'm gonna select my brush. I'm already on the technical pen, that's what I want. And then we're gonna select the color black because we're taking away part of this layer. So as we draw black, as you can see, we're masking part of the layer that we had selected. Now we can do the same exact thing with the black outline without actually destroying the outline that we've created for ourselves. Now say we went a little too far on the outline and we want to restore that part of the outline. Since we didn't actually erase it, all we have to do is unmask it with the color white. So let me just come in here and unmask that part of the outline. You could do the same thing by coming back down here to the layer mask that was uh, hiding our orange. If we wanna make it a smaller bite or refine it a little bit, we can come back in here and draw in the orange where it was, and now it's not destroyed at all. We're just adding or subtracting part of our artwork. So think of it as you're covering up or masking part of your art. You're not fully erasing it because as you can see, we can go back with the white and bring everything back to the way it fully was with no damage. You can do so much with these three tools in combination. It really makes your work go faster and it makes you way more accurate opposed to you just trying to do these things by hand. So that's it for me. Any questions or comments or whatever you wanna leave down in the comments, feel free to leave them down there. If not, I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope that you have a good day.